Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is super fast, but it's just something that I used to do uh, personally, which now that I've found an easier way to do it, I figured I would share it with the world so that nobody else suffers my same fate. Um, but whenever I was doing things in Illustrator where I had rounded corners on things, my initial inclination back before there was a solution to this was to use the rounded rectangle tool or use the tool specifically for making the rounded corners, either by dragging it out or clicking and entering very specific values and then saying I want my corner radius of blank, yada yada. Um, and that's all fine and good, but in most design processes you're going to run into changes and you know somebody might say they want the button less rounded or more rounded. And if you've made it with that tool, it's actually kind of like hard coded in there that that's the radius. And if you wanted to make the button wider, you'd have to, you know, grab the points. And I used to do this all the time and nudge over just those points or grab the corners and make them bigger, make them smaller. Uh, but in the newer versions of Illustrator, and by newer, I mean like probably CS2 and up, uh, the best way to do this is actually just to use a regular rectangle and then use the effect of rounding the corners rather than um, actually using the rounded corner tool. So if you do effect, stylize, round corners, and then just enter in your uh, button radius that you want here, and you can actually preview radiuses by doing it this way too, like um, you wouldn't be able to do that with the other tool. But say you set your radius of 10 and hit OK, and you've made your button, and I know this is a really hideous looking button, this is not my uh, design chops shining through, but if you need to make your button wider, now simply by dragging the box, it keeps the radius at the corner, um, and you don't have to redraw it at all, you don't have to do anything new, um, and then in your appearance tablet, or tablet, wow, in your appearance window, um, you can easily just double click and make your changes here if you do need to change the radius. But this way you avoid um, countless hassles with having to deal with actual points, but you get the same effect. You just use a filter as opposed to, or an effect rather, that's what Illustrator calls them, uh, rather than um, kind of hard coding in those radius values. So that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and hope it was helpful.